What up gang, it's your boy Forrest Rippets and back at the game another video. So today I got these jeans, right? So these are like some Carhartt vintage jeans that I had. I ended up, oh shit, my speaker. I ended up taking these to the tailor to get them like tailored because they was too big. And I think I tailored them too close because they don't sag how I really want them to. And like, I don't know, so I haven't really been wearing them, but I feel like in order for me to wear them more, I want to distress these joints. So. I haven't distressed a pair of jeans in so long, y'all, so I don't know how this is going to go. But I got a knife and I got some scissors, and I'm about to just see what I can do. Um, yeah, because push come to show, if I fuck them up, I just, I just fuck them up. But I really want to see if I can, like, distress these and make them look sweet. So that's what I'm about to do right now. I was like, I'm randomly just going to... Oh no, that's what we about to do right now. I'm looking for some other pants to put on while I try to distress these. So that's what we about to try to do right now. All right, y'all, so I'm really winging this joint right now. I have no idea. Like I said, this, I also just randomly just recorded, like turned this on. I was like, fuck it. I'm about to just show them this process and just see me like firsthand trying this shit. Like, like I said, I haven't did this in so, so long. And I know what I used to. I used to use a knife that had like the little like deep ridges in them because I go like this. But I'm just using what I got right now because this is like a right now thought. I literally just thought of this right now to try to do. I got scissors. So I could like, like I don't even know where I should cut these bitches. Like I'm about to just wing that shit. Uh, I ain't even gonna cut. If I fuck them up, I fuck them up. Just give it a poke. Gotta give it a poke. Uh, hold on. Maybe I need to just like nip some shit. These scissors ain't even sharp enough. Yeah, what the fuck? I don't think I have the utensils for this shit, y'all. All right, there we go. We got a rip. We got a rip going on. I see we ripping a little something. We ripping some shit. All right, we in it now, y'all. We in it. I'm just ripping it with my hands now. We just. In it right now, we like all the way there, and I feel like, like I, I want it to be like flared and like broke open. Like I don't even know how I want this shit to look. I'm not even gonna lie. I just don't want it to look bullshit. Hold on, I'm gonna get my other jeans just kind of see what those look like. Like these a little bit, but better if you get what I'm saying. So they kind of like cut. I can tell somebody like cuts like a circle around it. So that's what I'm gonna do. And it flares up better like this once you put them in a the dryer and shit. So I'm trying to get it to look like this. So we gonna, we gonna cut some shit. Let's, hold on. To get that like circular, you gotta kind of like cut in a circle type shit. Yeah, these scissors is bullshit. All right, we got a hole in there now. <laughs> and like I said, it'll start to flare a little bit more once you dry these joints. Like all this shit, like once you wash and dry it, all this shit's gonna flare a little bit. It just depends on how much flare, cause I don't know how much flare is gonna come out of them. But you see these strings right here? These kind of like flare out, start to kind of get weird and stuff. The more you wear them, but I don't know. We winging them right now, but I don't even know if this is at the knee. <laughs> Might cut a little circle or some shit. And I don't even see. Normally, when I have like a jagged knife, this being jagged, it helps me out because I could just like really like flare this shit up, like really fuck it up. Because you want to kind of get these strings out. You want to get these strings, the little strings out, because that's the shit that's inside of here. And you want it to kind of just look, just fuck. You see how that's helping though? Like going at a, a certain angle, once you cut it, just go at an angle and kind of like wear it down. And you'll see they'll start to open up and you can just like fuck with them. Guys. It gets messy. Like you're going to have shit all over the place, but. This is what you try and do. And this is what you gotta do. I don't even know if that's the knee. I don't even know what part of the leg that is. 
We winging it, man. Y'all seeing this shit firsthand. Y'all see like in the inside, y'all see these like little lines, all these? That's what these are. So if you like get down to those white pieces and kind of like keep frying it, if you have like sandpaper or if you have, like I said, another jagged knife, you could kind of like keep going at them and they'll like rip open for real. So and kind of start to look a little bit better. And like I said, I keep repeating this, but once you put them in the washing machine and the dryer, all this shit will start to come out even more. Like you see it's starting to come out. So you kind of could just... Hold on, I'm about to try these on real fast, just so I can see. All right, so this is what it look like right now. I want that hole to be way bigger than that. I want them shits damn near like ripped open damn near. So I'm probably gonna cut up some more. I'll probably rip some of this and make it a little bit bigger. Like I want these just to be like distressed, distressed. Like not too distressed, but you know what I'm saying? I want it to be distressed. Shout out my good man, Jay Bantana for that. For the damn I miss being a teen shirt. You know what I'm saying? Shout out that man. Tell him to, hey, go to his page and let him know right now to drop some more tees, man. The damn I miss being a teen tees. Tell him to drop some more shit. T hard. But yeah, I'm about to uh, rip this leg some more. I want it ripped more. And I'm gonna do the other side too, but I want this shit like rip, rip. And sometimes it can, sometimes it can help if you put them on and kind of like rip a little bit. I just don't know how I want to rip these joints. Like, cause I don't want my thigh all out, but I do want these bitches ripped. Let's see. I can rip it out like that a little bit. Like. Got my whole leg out and shit, but. Fuck it. You said you wanted to, you wanted distressing, so you gonna get distressing. That's what you said you wanted, Mr. Ripperton. That's what we gonna do. Don't try this at home, kids. Putting a knife over your leg and shit. Don't try this at home. All right. Oh, all right. I just really ripped it just now, y'all. Y'all heard that? See, that's the thing that could happen. When you doing this shit, you can fuck around with one bad rip. And they could just rip the whole pants. Now my whole leg out, for real. But now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this flat. I mean, I could just cut it. <laughs> or I could just let it hang. What should I think I should do? Should I just let it stay there? Or should I cut that joint? I feel like I should cut it. See, now the only thing is at the top, it look like I got on short. So I'm trying to figure out how to like, make this not look like I got on like, half cutting off shorts or some shit. Like, I gotta like create a different like type of look. I'm gonna do like a small little cut at the top. Kind of want to give it some more distressing. Be careful, ladies and gentlemen, when you're doing this. So you don't fucking cut your fucking hands off. Like I said, don't try this at home. Do not try this at home. Ugh. All right, you're going to start to see the pocket. You see, give it a little... Not major, not major, just take some of those out. You can use your fingers too to like, fuck with it. Like I said, this really, it's really no blueprint to really doing this. You just gotta be careful when you ripping certain shit. Cause like, this just accidentally happened. I didn't want it to rip this crazy, but like if you doing it with your hands, that shit could really rip a certain way and you could fuck it all up. And I don't know what to do after you do that. But luckily I ain't do it too bad. Cause I know it's other people out here that be distressing jeans and probably can do this in a more efficient way. Like sand, like I know for sure sandpaper works really good. I've used sandpaper before, but you could just kind of like, especially with the flares and shit, like you could really go crazy. Um, but sometimes it's better to just freehand that shit, free ball that shit and just go crazy sometimes. Cause this should be, you never know what you can get out of that shit. All right, so this is what it look like right now. Fat ass, like, ripping the leg. It's going to look better once I get the other leg done. But, you know what I'm saying? You can have a pocket. You can have a pocket hang out if I want to. Or you can have it tucked back in. Just depends on how you feeling. You see the flares on it, you know? Once I do the other side, y'all gonna it's gonna it's gonna you gonna see the vision. So let's let's start on the second side now. I don't know what I should do though, cause I don't want to fuck it up. Do I make another big ass one like this, or do I kind of make like a? All right, so we got that one out the way. It's looking all distressed and 
Oh, uh, let's so let's see if we can do that to this other side because I don't even remember how the fuck I did it. I just know I pinched it and kind of like poked the hole. Just randomly poke it somewhere. Do not stab yourself, please. See, I got a hole in there somewhere. And sometimes it's better to rip with the hands too. I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes it's better to rip with the hands because it distresses a little bit better. Instead of when you cut with the scissors, it kind of gives it a clean little cut. If you do it with your hands and rip it with the hands, it kind of gives it a more natural like tear look. So just be careful when you're doing it. Like you see how I put my finger in there and it opened up the hole a little bit. You can't see. You see how I put my finger in there and it kind of opened the hole a little bit. Just kind of like gradually rip a little bit if you don't want to just go crazy. But just gradually rip. And you see how like the pieces come off, the little flare pieces start to come out. And just figure it out, you know what I'm saying? You could just wing this shit. Like you should have seen. Sometimes the second leg always ends up being better than the first leg because we learn from our mistakes, but never fucking know, man. Let's see. All right, so boom. This is how it looks right now. Obviously, we're going to rip it some more, but this is how you got to get it. It's kind of like right there. So now I can kind of start fucking with it a little bit and just figuring out how I want it to be. We're going to cut up. We're going to cut it up here. Rip it a little bit. Kind of make it look kind of similar to this one a little bit. This one isn't as flared as much because I didn't like. Didn't do this. And it's a good quality jean too. Like the Carhartt jeans are always good. Like I fuck with the Carhartt denim. So it's a good pair of jeans to kind of do this too. Some jeans, you won't get a good rip in. You won't get good distressing and stuff like that because the material of the jeans might be cheap or just not that heavy duty or well. So not all jeans are going to be able to rip well, but these look like they kind of doing what they need to do. A little bit. Hmm. Oh, Loki just cut my knee. Oh, shit. That shit gonna start bleeding out. I'm gonna pass out. A little sweet. Kind of blew the knees out the same way. Just need some more, like, flare, like some more distressing, some more strings to come off. All right, so we in the mirror right now. This is what they look like. You know what I'm, I'm, I'm going to do some more distressing on them. I might even put like a random rip like somewhere right here or something like that. Might give like a small rip up here, but it looks sweet right now. Not too bad. Not too shabby. This a fit. I ain't going to lie to Heaven's hat with my man shirt right here. The distressed jeans. Hold on. We might be on to something, y'all. This might be a fit real fast. Hold on. We might have to, yeah, though. All right, so I'm going to put, like, I'm going to put, like, a random rip somewhere where it wouldn't even be, like, won't even bother. I'm going to just put, like, a small little hole right here, maybe. Small little hole right here. Nothing too crazy. Just wanted to kind of have, like, something else going on in it. So it's not just one big-ass rip. <laughs> So you just kind of ease your finger in there. Oh, see? I'm wilding. I'm wilding. All right, there we go. Just some cool shit. Nothing crazy. Yeah, there we go. This is stress ministry. All right, y'all, boom. We got some, it's the rip at the top. I see the little slight rip at the top. Y'all see the holes in the what's the name? Just like this. I'm gonna put some shoes on. Let me see what it looks like, some shoes. Let's put these on. I'm gonna put the uh, Stussy boots on. Just to see, because they was right here, they was the closest. Ugh. You know what I'm saying? Got the Stussy boots on with them. Not bad, not bad. Just made some distressed jeans, y'all, fuck. Low key, I low key wanna do something with this rip. I don't like it. I might pull it up somewhere. All right, y'all, so I'm in a dilemma. 
I don't like this one and I'm thinking about just ripping it all the way to the top and just making this just one big ass rip. But I don't know what I sh I don't know if I should do it or not. But I'm just I just don't like it just randomly right there. So we might have to just fuck it. About to do it, y'all. Rip about to be big as shit. We did it, y'all. We just ripped the shit out of them. These jeans is like destroyed now. <laughs> this is destroyed now, but it's hard though. Like I fuck with them. Like I said, this low key a fit. I'm gonna go throw these joints in the uh in the um washing machine and stuff, and see what happens after that. And I'll show y'all. Alright, y'all. So I low key put together like a fit. Y'all know we gotta do that, but. I look he tried to fake, just put like a quick little fit together. I was like, I'm gonna wash these joints and all that other stuff, so it's gonna take some time for me to kind of like get it together. So I'm gonna just show y'all this fit for right now. And then once I wash them, let them dry and all that other stuff, I'm gonna add it to the video. But you know what I'm saying? I got this, this the Ronning, Ronning Camo Fleece that I did a review on. If y'all didn't see that, I can go ahead and check that video out. But they sent me this joint. I got the black tee on underneath Heather's hat. Distressed denim with the stussy boots. How y'all feel about the fit? Y'all like the jeans though? They ripped, they all really, they like, they really ripped, like, these jeans. I even put this fit together too, y'all. I like how the jeans, I don't know if this shit like tilted or not, bro. I be feeling like this shit tilted. I don't know, fuck it. But yeah, I even got it with these joints on, like, I put the Converse on with this pink hoodie I got from the thrift. You know what I'm saying? I like the way these jeans sit on the Converse too because the Converse aren't so bulky. So you get to get a baggier fit than when I wear them with the boots. But I just put two fits together with the jeans already. I ain't even washed these joints yet. Like do nothing to them yet to kind of get the distressing out some more. But yeah. Oh yeah, one more, one more, one more. I put this fit right here together. I got the, I put my glasses on because I couldn't see, but the jeans with the ones this Tommy Hilfiger flannel, and then this other little joint that I got from the thrift is like hoodie. I just was in here like messing around with fits before I even like put it together. I need to hit this J because I got hella anxiety going on right now. But yeah, it's the third fit. The sneaky, just cool little shit. Y'all like this joint? Let me know. All right, so this is the next day. Um, I washed them and dried them a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And this is what they look like. They actually don't even really look that much different. Um, the flare, like the little like shit came off a little bit more, but they really don't look that much different. They definitely still hard. I just, the one thing I wish on me, I wish they was like baggy, like how these jeans are. Y'all see how like real baggy these are? I wish that these fit exactly like this, but other than that, these just is still gas. I might, I might, y'all, I might, I might put them on my Depop because I'm putting a lot of stuff on my Depop real soon. I might. Put these on my Depop, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, we just made some distressed jeans all by hand, you know what I'm saying? Ripped up, uh, destroyed. I ain't even gonna call them distressed. I'm gonna say destroyed denim, you know what I'm saying? So tell me how y'all feel about these joints and if y'all ever did this yourself or whatever. Like I said, it ain't really like a hard process. You really could just go in with no map, no nothing, and just try whatever. So yeah, let me know how y'all feel about these joints. And if y'all would cop them, if I throw them on my deep pop, along with some other shit. But yeah, these them bad boys right here, man.